Today I'd like to go through some scouting methods that used in scouting for diseases, not insects or weeds, but uh, diseases, and show you uh, the differences in the fungicides and timing of spraying and things like that. First of all, I'd like to point out uh, the timing of fungicide applications for disease control, and that is we like to spray our fungicides at R3 stage. This one is a little more advanced than that. It's about an R5. The way you determine that is by counting the nodes like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven nodes, and that's good enough to spray at an R3 stage. Now, how do you know when it's R3? When it has this many nodes, 10, 11, 12 nodes, then count down four nodes from the top, one, two, three, four. If there's a very small pod, about 3 sixteenths of an inch long, then that's the R3 stage. That is the time to spray. And we'll look at some data in just a minute. But that is the uh, ideal time to put the fungicide on. We'll go over three or four diseases this morning. Frog eye leaf spot being one of our worst diseases, along with sudden death syndrome and some other diseases. The frog eye is our worst disease. It's caused by Cercospora. It causes little white looking lesions on the, on the leaves, stems, and pods. The leaves wither and fall prematurely and the seed coat is cracked. Here's a close up view of frog eye leaf spot in a severe case. We don't want to ever see this uh, in, in terms of spraying because this is already too late. Because just in a week or so, you'll see those leaves turn brown, drop off, and yield is reduced significantly. Not only are the leaves affected, but the pods are infected along with the seed. The maturity, uh, the germination of these seeds is very poor and seed treatments will not help on, uh, on seed like this. Another disease that's virtually in every soybean field is called septoria brown spot. It has two phases. One is an early season, the lower bottom leaves turn yellow and drop off like you see here. But then later in the season, we see brown spot really causing defoliation. And the more you plant soybeans after soybeans, the more of these diseases you have. Another very destructive disease we'll see in a minute is the anthracnose. It causes death of the pods, especially in the wetter, wetter kind of climate, wetter years. And then at the late in the season at harvest, we'll see black stems with the tiny little pustules on the, on the patios and the stems and the dead pods. The seeds are also affected too. Now for some data. This is a standardized foliar fungicide test that we conduct here at Milan every year. And you can see by the increase over the check, here is a 20 bushel increase. Now let me point out first, headline AMP is not cleared yet, but uh, we threw it in just to see how it would do, and it did very well. This A group all is significantly better, uh, and we can see that. Um, and you can see the very last one is Folicure, only six bushels above the untreated. But 20 bushels or 19.8 bushels is very, very good. You can see the rating of the diseases from 10 being the worst down to about 3, 3.3. These are very good. Now we never get rid of all the, all the disease, of course, with just one application at R3. Sometimes producers ask if they need a second application. Most of the time, not, but we have had, in severe cases, some increase over one application. So that can be done, it is cleared, and we can do that. To control the frog eye leaf spot, number one thing is to use resistant varieties. The, there are a number of varieties that are totally resistant. We should rotate our crops, uh, uh, two years out of beans will do a very good job in reducing, not completely, but reducing the amount of all the diseases. Using the foliar fungicides, especially on susceptible varieties, or where you've had beans after beans, 
for several years is a good idea. Always use fungicide seed treatments. These do help. So the take home message here, foliar fungicides can be very effective and you get the, uh, several diseases controlled at one time like brown spot, anthracnose, and frog eye and others. And of course, the price of soybeans are very good now and this would be a good time to spray soybeans. Soil borne diseases like uh, sudden death syndrome are not controlled with foliar fungicides. The application time is extremely important and critical. Spray this, uh, we should spray these diseases before they get a foothold. In other words, we have to spray healthy plants to keep them healthy. Disease prediction may be very difficult, but rotating crops uh, is a very good thing. Coverage is critical for good control. Remember, the new growth that comes out after R3 is not protected. The fungicides do not move up and down the plant. And in rare cases, a second application may be needed. I've pulled up some live plants uh, from the research plots here at uh, Milan to show some of these diseases uh, live on the plant. Uh, it's one thing to look at a picture, but it's nice to see uh, plants that have these diseases. This is uh, extremely important when uh, growing soybeans to be able to diagnose these diseases correctly. First of all, I'd like to start off with brown spot. Septoria brown spot is extremely common in our area and does just what we say it does. It causes brown spots, especially late in the season. Now it actually starts out early at about the third or fourth trifoliate and defoliates some of the bottom leaves. But as plants begin to mature, the spores move up the plant and infect the plant. Not only do they affect the leaf, but stems and pods are also infected, causing yield loss. You can see some of the brown on the, on the stems. Another disease that's quite common in uh, Tennessee and surrounding states is called anthracnose. Anthracnose is a fungus that kills the pods, stems, and even the leaves. And you can see here the black on these dead pods already uh, uh, showing the fungus on those pods. That's very common disease and the foliar fungicides do a very good job of controlling this disease. This is called frog eye leaf spot. I'm sure most everybody has heard about it, but it causes lesions on the leaves and eventually they're going to kill the leaves. They'll drop off uh, before they're ready to and causes great yield loss. This fungus also gets on the pods and on the stems and causes uh, poor seed quality and you need to get out in the field and look at this fungus to see if you have any of it. The fungicides are doing a very good job of controlling this disease. Another disease that we have in Tennessee is called sudden death syndrome and commonly referred to as SDS. It comes later in the season, it's very slow, but it causes death of the, of the tissue between the veins and is very evident out in the field on certain varieties. Now many varieties are resistant and, and don't have near as much of this disease. You can see that this is not good for the plant. It starts out as little yellow specks and might look like some other disease but it will progress and get worse and worse as season goes along. Now this also looks like stem canker and maybe other diseases too to some extent, but I'm gonna cut the stem and show you the real proof of, um, of this disease. Along about this time when you see foliar symptoms, take your pocket knife and you can actually break the stem and cut the stem open. And you can begin to see in various stages browning. That one wasn't quite as good maybe as this one. And we can see the brown in the stem at the lower stem. At the tip of my knife you can see how brown that is. That is a sure test for SDS or sudden death syndrome along with the foliar diseases. This is a good diagnosis. This 
This fungus is actually fusarium and causes rottening of the roots. So that is why the, the leaves are beginning to turn and it's like plugging up the water pipes with rust. It just can't get the water and nutrients to the leaves. So that is another disease. Foliar fungicides will not control this disease, but there are many resistant varieties. Producers should strive to find resistance to this disease along with the frog eye leaf spot. It's very important for producers to choose the right varieties. You can increase the yields by at least 20 bushels in some cases by picking the right varieties and spraying with the fungicide. Uh, we're here at utcrops.com and you can look up the uh, various ratings that we have for the varieties and also the effectiveness of the various fungicides. Thank you very much.